For as long as I could remember, I had been bound to an accursed existence. I was not your ordinary pumpkin. I was a vessel for a demon, a cursed entity that required a sinister sacrifice to sustain its power. Every fall, the small town of Willowbrook knew the ritual all too well. The offering of their firstborn child to appease me, the demon pumpkin. The dread that cloaked the town during this season was palpable, a heavy mist that settled in every nook and cranny. Parents concealed their despair behind stoic expressions, while the newborns, innocent and unaware, brought into the world as the cursed season approached, held the unwitting key to my continued existence. The night of the harvest always filled me with a perverse sense of anticipation. As the first leaf fell, my power grew stronger, and the town's resolve crumbled. The townsfolk knew that to defy the curse was to invite a calamity beyond imagination. One particular fall, the air was colder than I had ever felt it, and the moon hung low in the sky, casting eerie shadows that danced through the trees. This harvest was different. It would be the most heart-wrenching of all. I sensed a new firstborn, a child named Amelia, whose laughter had just begun to fill the once happy homes of Willowbrook. Her parents, Angela and Daniel, were tormented by their terrible duty. They were good people, forced into an unthinkable choice. On the night of the harvest, they arrived at the pumpkin patch, clutching their precious Amelia. The townsfolk, solemn and resigned, formed a somber circle around me. Amelia, wrapped in her mother's tender embrace, cooed softly, blissfully ignorant of the horror that awaited her. As Angela and Daniel recited the incantation, their voices quivering with anguish, the tension in the air grew unbearable. The moon hung lower, its pale light casting an eerie glow over the scene. The townsfolk chanted in unison, their voices a cacophony of sorrow. But just as the ritual reached its zenith, a sudden gust of wind swept through the patch, extinguishing the torches and plunging us into darkness. What have you done, you fools? Don't you see what you have done? I screamed.